Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can pay lightning invoices. So you can do things like send people tips, or play some lightning roulette, or buy some gift cards at a discount, or probably more importantly, go ahead and fund you know great causes that get deplatformed by platforms like GoFundMe. So we're going to be donating to the Hong Kong Hoddle for the Canadian drivers or the truck drivers, and uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Again, two different ways. Uh, the first way is we're going to be using Strike, which is like a more centralized method, but it is easy to do and it connects to your bank account. So that makes it, you know, easy, but it is centralized. And then the other way I'll show you is using Moon Wallet, which is a more decentralized method for paying Lightning invoices. So we'll cover both methods. If you want to skip ahead to the Moon Wallet, go ahead. Or if you want to sit here and watch Strike, then, you know, I'm about to do it right now. So obviously the first thing you want to go ahead and do is get Strike. They have an iOS version, an Android version, and a Chrome version. So, you know, you can download whichever one you want. And I'm going to go ahead and load it up on my phone. And so here I have it on the right-hand side. And if I click on the little profile picture right down here in the bottom right-hand corner, we see that I have the option to go ahead and deposit. So you go ahead and deposit. You can select how much money Money you want to deposit so I'll just do ten dollars and confirm and in a few seconds I should have ten dollars transferred from my bank account to the strike app so that's pretty simple to do and then we'll just go back to the home so click on home right here and we want to go ahead and click on pay right there so let me click on pay and then you see this little QR code thing at the top right corner go ahead and select that option and then it says that you can go ahead and scan or paste a bit Bitcoin address or lightning request. So we'll come over here to the HODL, the, the Hong Kong HODL website. And let's say we want to donate our $10. So there we go. And then we can do anonymous or log in. I'm going anonymous even though I'm shooting this video and you can see what I'm doing here. But then I'm going to go ahead and select lightning here. And it's going to go ahead and load up a lightning invoice. So scan to pay. So I'm just going to take my phone and scan it and we can go ahead and confirm our payment here so i'm going to go ahead and confirm and we get the paid icon here on the website and that's it so we've go ahead, gone ahead and donated to the hong kong huddle through using the strike app so yeah very simple to do and now for the more decentralized option where we're using moon wallet which lets you self custody your cryptocurrency and also there's no KYC so you know unlike strike where you have to give them your your personal information moon wallet you don't have to do that now having said that you do need to have Bitcoin in the first place and you're gonna send it to your moon wallet and then you're going to use moon wallet to pay that lightning invoice so you do need Bitcoin to begin with and you probably got to go through a KYC exchange in order to get that Bitcoin anyway but we'll talk about that as we go through this section of the video so of course go ahead and get moon wallet onto your mobile device I have mine loaded up right here and what I want to go ahead and do is receive so click on receive and you'll see that we have an option for Bitcoin or lightning we're gonna be sending Bitcoin on the main chain to our moon wallet and then we'll go ahead and pay through lightning moon wallet when we're ready to donate to the Hong Kong coddle so that's kind of the the concept here now, one place you can go ahead and, you know, buy some Bitcoin is Coinbase Pro. They have some of the lowest withdrawal fees, like they actually look at the mempool and give you a fee based off of, you know, how full the mempool currently is. So you're not paying some outrageous fee just arbitrarily, like 50,000 sats, like Voyager charges to send your Bitcoin. Uh, you actually pay like the, the actual cost uh, if you use Coinbase Pro. So I just wanted to point that out. It's the, the cheapest one that I know of. Now I already have some Bitcoin on my node and I'm just gonna use it from my node to my moon wallet. So anyway, here I am under Bitcoin and I wanna go ahead and copy my wallet address right here. So I'll go ahead and copy it. Oh, I gotta do it on my phone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and email it to myself. So I'll do that real quick. And now that I have my address, I'm gonna go ahead and send the Bitcoin to the address. And again, you could do it from Coinbase or Coinbase Pro or Voyager or Kraken or Binance or wherever lets you send Bitcoin. Uh, you're just gonna send Bitcoin to the, the address of your moon wallet, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Bitcoin real quick. And I wanna go ahead and withdraw. And I wanna go ahead and paste in my address right there. And I wanna go ahead and send like $20 worth of Bitcoin just so I have it on my moon wallet. So I'm just gonna try 50,000 sats. 
Oh, there we go. So that's $20 almost even. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my transaction fee real quick and re review withdrawal and confirm my withdrawal. And I can go ahead and watch my transaction now on the mempool. And my ETA is about 11 minutes. So, you know, I'll pause the video and I'll be back when it's active. And actually you see in my moon wallet, it so shows that I just received the Bitcoin. Now I'm not going to be able to spend it yet, but we can see right here that it is pending. So as soon as this con confirms, I could go ahead and send and pay over the Lightning Network. So I'll be back in once once it's all confirmed. Alrighty, so my transaction has confirmed and that little clock thing inside a moon wallet has vanished. So I should now be able to send my Bitcoin. So we'll come back over to the Hong Kong Huddle site here and I'll do $10 again or 24,096 Satoshis. And we'll go with Lightning here and it's gonna generate the invoice. And while it's generating that, I'm going to go ahead and click on send in my moon wallet. So we'll do that real quick. And then it says that I could go ahead and scan a Bitcoin or Lightning QR code. So of course, I'm just going to whip my phone up here and scan the website. And we see where the funds are going to. And we see that it's BTC session. So he's the one running this right here. But we'll go ahead and we see all the, the fees and network fee and all that other stuff. Look at that network fee zero. You got to love the Lightning Network for that. And we'll just go ahead and click on send. And poof, it's out of our account. And this website should open up or say that we paid it here soon. Oh, there we go, paid. And just like that, we've gone ahead and donated through Moon Wallet as well. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Again, we covered two ways to go ahead and pay Lightning invoices. One using the Strike app, which is more centralized, and one using Moon Wallet, which is more decentralized. And then you can pay, you know, any type of Lightning invoice using those two methods so you know you can tip people play some lightning roulette do get some discounts on some gift cards or donate to causes or you know pay bills or invoices or whatever else you know people are generating lightning invoices for but that's how you go ahead and do it hopefully you found this video helpful any sorts of likes comments subscribes would be greatly appreciated and i hope you have a great rest of the day